Hi there, I'm Robin Miller. Welcome to dinner tonight. Tonight we're gonna to use rotisserie chicken meat to make two completely different dinners. The first one, empanadas. You're gonna love this. I'll show you how to do it. First, we're gonna make the filling and it really couldn't be easier. Start with about one to two cups of shredded rotisserie chicken meat. You can use all white meat or white and dark. Then get some prepared salsa, either fresh or you can find it in the refrigerated section of the grocery store. Or you can make your own. And then just toss those two together and that is it, that's your filling. Plus we're gonna add a little cheddar cheese once we put this on a pie crust. That's the next step. Okay, you need two refrigerated pie crusts for the empanadas, and what I like to do is just take a pizza slicer and make a little line through the middle so I can section off four empanadas. So here's the rotisserie chicken and the salsa, and you can use as much filling or as little filling as you like, but you just want to make sure it's not so overstuffed that it won't close, that the edges won't seal. I'm glad I have that little line there so I know where to stop. Okay. Give it a nice little pat down. This one looks a little smaller than the rest. We'll give this guy a little more chicken. Okay. Now we're going to sprinkle the top with shredded sharp cheddar cheese. You can use pepper jack, Monterey jack, mild cheddar. Really doesn't matter. This is like custom. You can do whatever you want, so fun. Okay, the cheese is on there. Now you take the second refrigerated pie crust. Don't worry about that, I just ripped it. Don't even worry about it. We can fix it later. We can fix it in editing with the pizza wheel and a fork. Okay, you lay the second pie crust down Pinch, see here's where we're gonna fix that. Pinch around the edges just to get a little bit of a seal. I'm gonna go around again with a fork. Okay, all the way around. There we go. Then I'm gonna use a fork to go all the way around. This makes a pretty edge, plus it makes sure it's totally sealed. And it doesn't pop open when it's baking. All the way around, I had to switch to my left hand. This is like those lacrosse players that can do both hands. They're not as good though. Back to my right hand where I'm more confident. Okay, there. Now, we're gonna slice through the middle with our pizza slicer and make those four empanadas. I mean, could it be easier? Just separate them a little bit. Just finishing up the last one, making sure all the edges are sealed. And they're ready to go to the baking sheet and get their egg wash. I'm just putting the last empanada on a foil lined baking sheet. I also coated it with cooking spray so the empanadas don't stick. And now I have just a one egg that I've run a fork through just to get it broken up and you give this the top of the empanada, a nice brushing of the egg. This gives it a wonderful golden brown and shiny exterior. It's really makes it look, you don't have to do it, but it really does kind of make them look spectacular. So we'll give them all a brushing of egg. All right, that's the last one. Now we're gonna give a little prick on the top of each one to allow some steam to escape while they bake. You want that steam to escape so they don't explode. Okay, oven's preheated to 375. They're going in. I'll be back. Check out these warm empanadas. After 15 minutes, they are perfect. Now let me show you how to make that pasta salad. This is what we like to call a dump and stir recipe. Dump it in and stir it up. So I've got some cooked penne. We've got that shredded rotisserie chicken. Toss that right in there. And then you just start dumping in. This is sliced roasted red peppers from a jar. You can slice them even more if you want. I've got some capers. I got the, the large capers, they looked so good, but you could definitely get the smaller capers. Some crumbled feta cheese. This gives it a wonderful saltiness. Toasted pine nuts. I've done this with almonds, two slivered almonds. That works great. Chopped parsley, fresh parsley. We've got a little bit of dried oregano. And we've got a little bit of garlic powder. You know I like to add garlic powder when I don't want to add the fresh cloves. A little bit of cider vinegar or red wine vinegar to taste. A little bit of olive oil, maybe about a tablespoon. 
some salt and pepper. There you go. Dump, now stir. Isn't that beautiful? That is a beautiful salad and a great way to catapult that rotisserie chicken into something completely different for dinner tonight. Hot empanadas fresh from the oven, pasta salad with roasted red peppers, pine nuts, and feta. I know you're gonna have a great dinner tonight. See you next time.